Hey, a very good morning to y'all and welcome to today's vlog. I am literally about to head out the door right now. Um, I'm driving over to my sister's job. I'm going to apply at her job and see how that goes because they're hiring right now. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully I do well. I don't it's not an interview, it's just an application. But still, you know, you don't get an interview unless you do well on the application. So alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go because I'm running just a little bit behind. There is so much traffic this morning. Like Vom Voma Road, which is like one of the main roads by my house that I always take has so much fucking construction going on right now. So it's causing this street to back up so badly and I could I could have took another way but I'm gonna be honest this is the way that I'm used to taking so it's the way that I always take but I'm gonna have to figure something else out because at this point it takes me like 30 minutes to get everywhere and it's ridiculous I made it home guys without killing anybody <sighs> I like I don't have road rage right I don't consider myself to be someone who has road rage However, comma, when you are driving in a lane, right, and there's construction going on, they let you know that, they let you know that the road will, like, they put up a sign that says lane reduction, right? So that means that this lane is closing. I was smart. I know that Voma Road closes the right lane when you get to a certain point. So I just stayed in the fucking left lane the whole way home. Right? It's just easy. It's, it's whatever. It's not the fact that they drove in the right lane knowing that it was closing. It was a fact that they knew it was closing and they waited to literally where the barrier starts, where the lane is completely closed to start trying to merge over, which is a dick move because it's like, you knew, I know you don't want to sit behind all these cars, but you knew that this lane was closing about fucking two miles back so what was the purpose of you waiting to the very last fucking minute to switch over and try to merge into a lane and then some people are so rude I I'm sorry I'm like I know but some people are so rude they don't even like act they just like nope I'm about to get in this bitch you're about to let me in front of you and that quite honestly pisses me off so I brought Lana to the um But my mom was like, F it, you're gonna have to go by yourself. So I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Fine, I'm going. And she's getting washed. Yay, Lana, your first car wash. It's my car anyway. Well, I'll show you guys how she actually looks once I get to the house. But I got all nice and washed and I vacuumed her insides and she's looking good, y'all. She's looking good. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and head home now because I'm tired and I really just want to take a nap. Like I feel like that is the best thing for me right now. A good old fashioned nap. Okay. Bye. <laughs> so I washed her and she's looking so cute. Doesn't she look so cute? I cleaned on the inside too. It's still some things that I have to like. I've never even showed you guys the inside of my car. Look at This is how it looks. It's like I have my little gay thing in the mirror and then like it's clean. It's still some like areas that didn't get clean with the vacuum that I'll have to like come out with a towel and just wipe really well. I'll do that maybe like tomorrow or something because it doesn't look as clean as I would personally like it. And then I guess where the dealership had these little stickers at that won't come off so i'm gonna have to figure out how to take that off i'll have to google it i don't know what the hell that is oh that's my tent peeling off so that's cute but yeah she looks way nicer now than she did 20 minutes ago i know now that next time i go and get my car washed i should bring some type of rag to kind of like wipe it down once it's done because we're in Matson, and unless i go to like a really 
nice expensive car wash they're not gonna do that for me if you go to the city you can go to like car wash for like five bucks and they'll do that for you but not here so i'm gonna have to pay to get it like legit washed and all that stuff or so last night i had some steak and like mashed potatoes i made the mashed potatoes my mom made the steak and i didn't film it because i didn't want to take yesterday so I am now making the remainder of the steak. We have one more ribeye left. I'm gonna cook it up in here, and I still have some leftover mashed potatoes, which were red, um, red mashed potatoes with the skin. Oh, so good! I made it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this, and you guys are gonna watch like a cooking show or something. Look at that baby cook! It looks so good. One day I will eventually do a tutorial. <laughs> a tutorial on how I make these steaks. This time I'm, make, I'm making it a little different than the last time. So yeah, eventually I will do like a cooking tutorial on my steak and my mashed potatoes and my homemade chipotle dinner bowl because I think it tastes pretty stinking close to like the actual, you know, real deal. So. I do want to start doing more cooking tutorials now that we've moved and our kitchen is so much more nicer. And Finished product! These are the potatoes that I made last night. They're so smoking. That's cute. <laughs> they are, like I said, red potatoes, red mashed potatoes with the skin still on them. And then just a red by steak. And it looks so yummy in my tummy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog here. I bidding you guys adieu and saying thank you so much for watching if you're watching. Comment, like, subscribe if you want to. Be sure to share with a friend because this is how these things grow. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you beautiful souls tomorrow. And remember, stay fabulous. Bye.